Hi Church. As we're looking at these practices that will encourage spiritual growth in our lives, today I want to consider the idea of Bible memorization. And I know that memorization in general has kind of fallen out of um, favor. We don't have um, poetry recitals where the town gathers together and somebody quotes, you know, a, a long poem by Robert Louis Stevenson. Um, but the scripture talks about the importance of hiding God's word in our heart. And the clearest verse is found in Psalm 119 and verse 11, where it says, your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. So obviously one of the benefits of having God's word hidden in our heart is that the Holy Spirit can then bring that to our mind in a, in a situation where we're tempted. But I don't think that avoiding a sin is the only reason to hide God's word in our heart. We hide God's word in our heart because it can bring us comfort in moments when we don't have our Bible. We hide God's word in our heart because we can use it to encourage others when we don't have our Bible. Often in that minute of crisis, we can't go, let me pull out my Bible and now let me look at the concordance or let me Google this word and see if I can find the verse. When it is in our brain, when we can pull it out, we're much more quickly able to address situations. So I would encourage you to pick a verse this week and work on memorizing it. We talked yesterday about meditating and how as we go over and over portions of scripture, they begin to get cemented in our brain. So memorization is kind of the intentionality uh, behind meditating where we say, I'm gonna go over this verse enough that I'm gonna commit it to memory, that I'm not gonna have to have my Bible. You know, in the history of the church, there have been a number of times where people did not have access to the scripture. There are places in the world today where believers don't have access to the scripture. Can you imagine the joy it is for them to have hidden part of God's word in their heart? That may be the only scripture that they have to rely on in their lives. I hope that that never happens to us, but I think that there is value in committing God's word to our memory. There are a number of resources that you can use. Um, if you just Google Bible verses to memorize, you'll get a big list. I would say you should know John 3.16, for God so loved the world. Um, we've been talking a lot about Philippians 4, 6, and 7 over the last, last few months about how we're not to worry about anything, but instead to pray about everything. That would be a good one to commit to memory. Seeds Family Worship is a company that has put a lot of scripture um, to music. It's just straight, straight scripture put to music. And those are great things to play in your car, whether you have kids or not. It will help you to hide God's word in your heart. If you'd like some additional resources, you can email me or email um, any of the church staff and we'll be happy to provide you with some resources for memorizing God's word. If you'd like to tackle a little bit of a longer passage, I would encourage you to memorize the Lord's Prayer or memorize the 23rd Psalm. Um, as you're going through your Bible reading and you pick out a passage to meditate on, then pick out a portion of that passage to memorize. And as you do that, let's continue to pray. Open my eyes that I may behold wonderful things from your law. And let's practice hiding God's word in our heart.